solar lanterns are pretty neat if you live in a place that gets a lot of sunlight but if you're like me and you live in a place where sunlight's at a premium they don't get very bright this is all the brighter that this light got today with the clouds and sun that we've had so I'm going to try a little trick to see if I can get this to shine brighter. Okay, now take your Fresnel lens and point it at the solar panel. But be sure to move it around or else you're just going to fry it. Okay, uh, let's test it out. Well, it worked. It's a lot brighter. But as you could tell, that was not really a good idea because the solar panel was starting to fry. I'd recommend you just let nature do its thing and just hope for a nice sunny day. I was going to follow up with a demonstration with a solar powered fountain, but as soon as I finished filming, the clouds rolled in. That's how it's been all summer and all spring. It's almost constantly cloudy here, or there just isn't much sun. That's why I don't really film these anymore. And that's why this is the series finale, because there just isn't enough sun to keep doing these all the time. Some experiments I wanted to do required a lot of sun. So, thank you for the past three years for watching me burn things with the sun, or at least try to. Stay tuned for the plenty of other science videos that I'm still going to do. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.